Hey guys, we're back for another video, and today, I'm gonna talk about Hytale again. And in this one, I'm going to speculate on how the beta should go. So, after the most recent blog post, as of recording this, hope's gotten pretty low <laughs> as far as a release date that's coming soon. The way it sounded almost made it look like the game's gonna come out in like late 2019, maybe October to December. So we got a little bit of a ways before the game comes out, so I'd like to speculate on the beta, which is something we might get a little earlier. So here's how I think it should go, right? You should give the beta out to dedicated high pixel players, those that are active on the server, on social media, they clearly care about the game. They're not gonna like expose every bug and like hate on the developers for it. Maybe even a lot of YouTubers, like, um, you know, people that frequent the mini games, things like that. I think those would be the best people to give the beta to because their outlook on the game is much more positive. And I think they'll be, they'll be supportive to the developers when they find, when they inevitably find problems because that's the nature of a beta, right? So they would reach out to the developers directly, give them a detailed bug report. They get things fixed. Everybody's happy. There's no outrage. So yeah, that's my opinion on who should get the beta. And they should do it one to three months before launch and allow for the beta players to, again, find these bugs or game mechanics that are stupid, such that the devs can fix it in time before the mainstream, the unfeeling, um, unbiased mainstream gets to it. Because when they do, they are not going to go easy on the game. I know that for a fact. I also think they should distribute the Hytale Model Maker and the API so that developers can actually begin making content for the game. So of course, when given this beta, they'll be able to actually code things and maybe even add models to the game. I think that'd be great for especially server owners like me with Blockshot, but I think in general, it'd be good so people can learn how to do these things so that on day one, there could be some actual content for Hytale. That'd be neat, <laughs> like outside of the game itself. Of course, I think the beta should be free and open to those that get the email. Uh, it's funny because I remember signing up for that email newsletter like months ago and haven't received a word back from them since. But I think it should be private in the sense that the general population doesn't get to the game thinking it's full and then being disappointed because that's not the point. <laughs> the point of the beta is so that they can test out if the game is good and then bug report. I almost feel like dedicated high pixel players more so than YouTubers. I mean, I might be a little biased considering I am a YouTuber, but I'd like to say I'm a... I play a lot of Hypixel in my videos, so I could be classified as both. But the last thing we need is for some YouTuber to expose all the bugs in Hytale's beta and make it look bad. Um, again, we need to be very objective and we need to be supportive to the developers. Uh, but anyway, yeah. The first time I ever saw a feature like this in a game was in Subnautica. And that's a bug report system that is built into the game. I know Minecraft has one now. But I think what <laughs> Subnautica did it before it was cool. But yeah, I'm thinking that Hytale should have a system, especially in the beta, that has a, a nice bug report system that lets you upload screenshots. It lets you maybe even upload short clips or recordings from in the game itself so that you can get context for what's happening. Because I can't tell you how many times as a developer of software that people tell me about a bug and I just can't replicate it. And if you're a developer and you can't replicate a bug, you really can't fix it. So, if the developers knew exactly what circumstances led up to what happened, then they would have a much easier time fixing the bug. That's why a lot of logs exist. There would be a log, obviously, but then there'd be screenshots that the player can submit. They'd give a text description as to what they did, what happened, and that would really speed up, I think, the final stage of development for the game. I also think it might be smart if they distributed a version of the game, you know, the beta, that can only connect to one server, maybe so it's like, in a sense, neutered, so it can't like, you know, people can't just go nuts with the beta and actually, you know, literally run their own servers already. I don't know, I think that it would be good that, you know, people can just stay in a very closed, controlled environment instead of some cracked download coming out for Hytale that just makes it work for every server and it doesn't expire and that would just be a big mess. So you don't want that. Maybe even give an actual beta code as well so that you can't distribute it. That would be smart. I didn't even think of that, but I mean, that's how a lot of betas are. You have a code and then you submit the code and then it 
Um, it allows you to play the game for the allotted time. I just don't want people to somehow be able to crack through that and just be able to play the game infinitely by like tricking it into thinking, oh, it's actually the day before the um, beta is supposed to expire, even though it actually is like a week and a half later. Like none of that. <laughs> and then said beta test server might have some mini games on it, which would be cool. And it would give people an opportunity to play these mini games in a test environment that's like, you know, controlled by the devs. And finally, most importantly, they need to actually announce a freaking release date. So when the beta comes out, I would say maybe a week after, the devs got to let us know when the game's coming out. I mean, please. <laughs> if they want to actually, I mean, I'm dying from the suspense, man. I, I'm okay with them releasing a beta first, but I think at least or at most like a week after the beta comes out They'll get an idea of all the bugs in the game. They'll compile a list. They'll be like, all right Here's all the things that are wrong with the game. We're pretty close to release now How long is that gonna take and then they figure it out and then they have like at least a goal release date Maybe not even a confirmed release date, but like this is when we want to release the game just anything Throw us a bone guys. But anyway, <laughs> that is it for this video um, <laughs> that is how I think the beta should go for Hytale. I think it would be really cool if, for example, you can play Skywars in, like, a demo type thing. And maybe even have some limited time in your own, like, um, single player environment. Maybe it'd give you, like, three hours or something. I think that's what Fallout 76 did. I do, I do not want any other things to synchronize with the freaking release of Fallout 76 because that was a dumpster fire. Well, anyway, leave a like down below if you guys enjoyed this video and all the Hytale videos so far. And before I go, you guys should follow me on Twitter. On there, I talk a lot about Hytale as well as other things going on in my life. And recently, I got freaking attacked by a bunch of wild turkeys. It's like, what? That's random, but it was also hilarious. So anyway, yeah, some crazy stuff happening on there. Well, anyway, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.